Welcome to today's video. On today's video, I'm going to show you how to make use of Bing AI. Now, Bing AI is a combination of ChatGPT and Dell E. Now, ChatGPT is a prompt, uh, a chat AI that actually um, responds to your question, answers every of your question, and you already know the introduction to that. I'm going to give you guys more brief, um, more information on how to use it. And um, Dell E is actually um, an image generation software, which actually helps you to generate images. Now, to get started with this, um, you actually have to download this application from Android Play Store. So open Android Play Store, and then uh, you go ahead and search for um, Bing AI, or just type in Bing, and you are going to see the application display for you. This is the application right here. So uh, make sure you notice um, this application is actually from Microsoft. You might see other applications that have similar names. Don't make a mistake. This is um, this is from Microsoft, and uh, you can actually notice where it says that. Um, this uh, particular application allows you to chat with an AI and it has ChatGPT4 built in. So um, ChatGPT4 is actually a paid version of ChatGPT. You can use ChatGPT3, but the ChatGPT4 is actually for premium users. But on this particular application, you actually get to use it for free for use. And you can actually see the rating and the people that are making use of it. So let's not wait too much time. Let's go ahead and open the application and let me show you guys how to use it. So when you open the application for the first time, you actually need to log in with your um, account. Um, probably you need to log in with your email. So the email you are logging in to with, uh, will have to be an Outlook or a Microsoft email. So I already have mine logged in right here. You can see my name so if you are making use of it for the first time you actually need to sign up to microsoft account and once you have that logged in you can start making use of the application so this is actually the home page on the home page you can see all of the introduction everything we can do with the application you can create image you notice it says image creator creates um create images from words with AI. And then the next one, you receive rewards every time you use this application. And then this is actually um, a weather or a weather uh, widget added to the application. This is actually currency widget. And these are wallpaper that you can also save. And these are um, trending news, trending games that you can play within the app mathematics which is probably scan draw and retype and then translator which is also you can do translation with the app and converter shopping and more now um when you scroll down you see news displaying below for you but then um if you click on this area you are actually going to be able to read even more news and it's actually very simplified so if you want to receive notification just click on the setting and enable that but i'm actually not interested in this so um i usually click outside so when you click outside it's going to deselect so these are all the trending news that you can read them easily and it's going to be brief but then i'm actually not interested in that this is actually what we are interested in the chat section the chat section is actually where everything happens. But then um, before I skip, because I'm going to be doing everything in the chat section, before I skip, when you click on the tab section, you can see everything that I've been browsing previously. Everything I can do, uh, I have been doing with the app is already saved for me and I can always go back and continue where I stopped. So you can do the same thing also. And then if you notice this section where it says the app, now this is actually where it has all of the app and simplified for you you can easily click and have it open for you so if you want to pin any app you can add it or pin it here but i do not have any app pinned for us and you can look and see everything right here this is the reward section the wallpaper the money game news trends and so on there are so many of them and then the bing image creator also so if for some reason you are not um, finding the uh, chat section friendly you can always come here to make use of or to go directly to that particular application and start using it now let's go to the chat so from the chat once you open it at first this is actually how it's going to appear not exactly something is actually missing but don't worry i'm actually going to show you guys that so this is actually how it's going to appear now if you want to use the chat gpt all you need to do is to toggle this on and it has been enabled now 
if you click on this back you are going to navigate back to the previous page when you click on the home page you come back and it's always going to be active now the chat gpt is active now let's start asking it some question so i'm going to ask him um right and i'm going to expect an answer oh there is actually some typographical error in my word and it actually corrected it searching for name of nigerian president okay i and it actually correct uh bola tunubu which is actually the current president and this is exactly the date that it was sworn in, he was sworn in and then more information and so on and you can also see the source where it got his news from it actually got the news from bbc.com confirmed also on wikipedia um wikipedia.org and twice and then um this other website so you can always click on this area to see more information about where it actually got its news from and you can read it and right now that i'm reading this i'm actually reading it from the tabs so when you click on the tabs you can notice this is one of the tab so if you are done, you can always come back to the chat and then you continue so it's actually a way for it to show you information and also link you to the source where it got the information from and guys there is a lot of cool things you can do with the chat gpt let's say is actually um more like a human interactor or a human communicator for you so it communicates with you whenever you want and however you want it now this particular answer is actually okay right now how about if i want it to be straightforward just tell me the name of the nigerian president and then don't add any of this information that is actually a precise answer right so if you want it to be precise all you need to do how about if you want to have um, a different conversation with uh, with your chat GPT? So on this area, right? So I'm going to click on precise option and then I'm going to ask the same question. All right. So I should expect a precise answer right now. Okay, so this it's more short and precise. And also it still included the source where the information was coming from. And yes, it's very accurate and correct. And then guys, um, if you're done with this, you can always close it. And quick information, if you are making chat GP, if you are making use of this application and you want to see your previous um, question you asked. Although these are my previous question though, I can always click on it to um, go back to it. But then if you want to see previous question you've asked before, you can always click. It's actually saved right here. So you can always click on this area and then you are going to see your previous questions showing right here. So those are my previous questions I have asked the uh, application and I can always go back and click on it. And whenever I click on it, I will see those previous information display for me and whatever or however, um, however or whenever I did it, it's always going to come back and show me all of the information. Now, guys, so how about this? Let me if you want to start a new um a new thread or a new question down below just next to the chat this is going to wipe it and then it's going to start a new chat for you so when you click on it you notice it's wiped and this is a new conversation so to start a new conversation um you actually have to choose the type of conversation you want if you want it precise it's going to give you precise if you want it to be balanced it's going to give you balance but just choose um a, an information right here so if you want to see how they actually work Pay attention to this area, right? Pay attention to this area to understand how it works. So this is creative. This is balance. This is precise. So if you prefer creative, it's going to give you creative. If you prefer balance, it's going to give you balance. And if you prefer it to be more precise, it's definitely going to give you more precise. So choose whichever one you want and then have a chat and a conversation with your uh, chat GPT or twice. So I'm going to copy this and I'm going to head over to um, this uh, application area and I am looking for the image designer or Bing image creator. I'm going to paste 
what I copied, the same thing, and then create. But although, guys, it actually still creates from the chat area, for some reason, it didn't work right now. And also pay attention to what I mentioned. This is actually um, powered by Dell E. That's the reason why you can no longer use Dell E on the website. It is now integrated into the application. Either you are making use of Bing online or the application on mobile, it is the same thing. So this is actually going to generate our cyberpunk hero image for us. And then when it's done, it's going to display and we can save it up or reuse it whenever we want it. So let's wait for that to complete. All right, guys. So this is the result to our cyberpunk image. Um, not bad. This is kind of cool. But mm, impressive. So the image has been created. So to save it, you can click on this icon. Uh, let me show you guys. Just hope you are seeing clearly this area. Click on this area to save the image. And... Uh, Click right there and download and it's going to be downloaded to your gallery. You can do the same to this image also. Um, click on it, wait for it to load up and you can have it saved on your device. So um, that is it. It's done. And this is actually how to create image. There is a lot of things you can do with this application. Uh, let me start a new conversation. So let's say, guys, um, let's say you actually want to have a proper conversation with the chat GPT and you want it to actually um, teach you and correct you when you are wrong you can say something like um, um, so guys if you are asking a question make sure you actually have it written properly so i am sending this and i am just trying to start a conversation with the chat gpt so now um our topic of discussion is actually the best player right so it says sure i did like to help you with that let's start the discussion according to the recent ranking some of the player you can just go ahead and read now messi ken mbappe and haaland uh, messi who is currently the president prayer and so after everything is still going to list his source as usual um then i'm going to list my i'm going to reply to okay so um this is actually going to uh, reply me and also if i have a typographical error is going to correct so you can see how the conversation is going now um let me make a mistake on purpose and you will see if it corrects me um, with the typographical error so i'm going to make a mistake on purpose and i'm going to say Right. Uh, I made some errors and I actually wanted to, I want to know if it's going to get the correction and if it's also going to correct me. But then it's actually missing the correction. I think probably because I started this conversation, um, I, started, <laughs> I started the conversation differently. So he's not actually correcting me, but he's actually understanding what I am saying. And I think the conversation is going well, but not exactly what I want. Guys, I can't take too much time um, teaching you guys how this works, but I'm going to have 
um, another time to actually show you guys other things that this application can do. So um, I hope this video is helpful, guys. If it is, don't forget to smash like. And if you have more questions about this, leave it on the comment section. And beside that, I'm also going to take some time to make more video um, separating and making everything to be simplified so that you guys will actually understand how to use this application. And I hope this is helpful. If it is, don't forget to smash like. I will see you on my next video. Peace.